Hi guys, check out MuleFactory.com and use the discount code OWNFIFA for a discount. They have plenty of other games, they also do loads of comfort trade and you can also go down here and buy a player, they can buy Van Dyke. They're really cheap, but the cheapest around. They have 80 different things you can buy, like just comfort trades, these team of the years, icons, everything like that. They also do 24 hour support, it's 100% safe. Any questions, you might be able to find it out right here, or you can go on a live chat. And over 240,000 people have used this site, guys. Check them out, link down below in the description. Hey guys, welcome to Eric today, welcome back to a brand new video. So I'm going to be showing you today, guys, the top 5 players that you need to try in this Ultimate Team Viva 21. So we're going to be starting with 5th place, and it is going to be Nemanja Vidic. So it's going to be just the top 5, I think, of the newer players, some of them, and some are old players I think you have to try this year. This guy has 93 defending and 91 physical, like insane stats, and he's fast as well, 78. I think when his prime moments comes out, I mean, his first card is 77 pace, I mean, his 88 is rubbish. But even that one there, I mean, it's not a bad card, but I wouldn't bother. I'd wait to get his 90, because he's got some really, really good stats. Um, you can see by the comments, well, people think he deserves better pace, whatever, which obviously, hopefully, his prime icon will reflect with a bit of luck. Hopefully, that will be the case. Um, second up, we have Sadio Mane, who's had a massive improvement this year. He's four-star, four-star as well, and, I mean, his pace says for itself. His finishing's good. Everything's good. Just his physical strength isn't massively high, but after a couple of informs, though, it's going to be unreal. Look at his dribbling stats as well. The lowest is 84. Um... As I say, the couple of informs that'll get up there even higher. Um, you see here that people are just moaning again. Um, pretty much about the rating system, but yeah, he's got a pretty solid card in my eyes. Really good shooting as well, so I think he'll be a solid winger. People might use him as a left forward striker at the start of the game as well, probably. And now Kylian Mbappe, this guy's going to cost a bomb. I mean, he's got five star skills, four star weak foot. Shame he's not five star, five star. But again, he's got he's rapid, 96 pace, and the shooting stats are good apart from his penalties are rubbish, which doesn't matter too much because they always have someone on their team that will be good at penalties. Even his passing stats, I mean, like you play him as a cam. I mean, obviously not going to, but like you could even play as a cam. Um, his dribbling's unreal, um, physical's good, good strength, really. Um, Jumping's not great, a couple of informs though, and he'll be up there. So, yeah, not bad at all, really. I wouldn't mind having Mbappe. Um, next is a new one, Samuel Eto. So, this guy looks absolutely insane. Um, good physical, nothing he's bad at apart from obviously defending, which is obviously going to happen. Uh, even his 87 look, I mean, that looks like a pretty solid card. And then his 90 as well. So, you can see it's sort of any of those cards are good. And if he played like he did in FIFA, I think it's FIFA 14, was it? Or FIFA 13, he would be absolutely unreal. Um, I remember how good he was then, um, but 95 pace, 90 dribble, 93 shots, like, that shooting's going to be amazing. And wait till his prime moments comes out, that'd be even more crazy. But the best one for me is Puskas, this guy's um, stats are pretty crazy. And um, 94 rated as well, he's got 91 pace, 92 dribbling. But um, if you didn't fancy that, he's a bit like a Eusebio, his baby's like pretty decent. Uh, obviously not in terms of stats, but his baby's really decent as well. I mean, other than his shooting, it's only dropping by three. Like, I mean... <laughs> Like you can see his passing obviously isn't that good, but like isn't his ninety two for me is really good as well like as a cam. If you want to play a cam it would be the ninety two. Like he's got really, really good stats and all his cards. But yeah, like I say, 96 shot. That's going to be a like 97, 98 shot when he gets his prime. 93 pace, maybe 93 dribble. Like 94 passing, maybe. His passing's unreal. So you could play him as a cam or a centre forward just in behind because he's quite small. Like he's 5 foot 8. So yeah, he might work pretty well. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, that will be a good card to use. That's the end of the video, guys. Sorry for no uh, consistency in uploads. I've been streaming every day, though, so go and check that out if you'd like to. And I will see you all soon with another video. Only 9 or 10 days now until FIFA web app as well, so hopefully when that comes out, we can absolutely spam the shit out of videos. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all then.